Ooh. What the heck is that from? What's up, fam? Good morning. It is a Friday here in this house, and the kids don't have school today. I should specify the big kids don't have school today. The four old ones don't have school, but Addie did have school today because she switched to Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. So she is at school, and the rest of the kids aren't. It's like backwards. It's so weird. Lily, can you go put this in your room? So the reason that they don't have school is so that they can fit in all the parent-teacher conferences with all the teachers and parents. I had most of the kids' parent-teacher conferences yesterday, but Lilia's was today. So I had to go back there today and meet with her teacher, and I was thoroughly impressed. In the past, she struggled a little bit with math, and she had to go to this like after-school thing where they would like help her with it. And her teacher this year, she was like, she's a new teacher and she was like, I don't know um, how she's done in the past, but she's really, really doing well with math. She's definitely on the higher end of my students. She said a lot of her students are having difficult th difficulty this year and that Lilia is doing really, really well. So I was super impressed. She showed me a couple of her tests in which she scored like really well on. Apparently she's grown a whole lot academically and she didn't lose much of it over the summer either, which is what I always worry about. So I am so proud of you and proud of you. I'm proud of you, but this girl has her very first homework on the weekend. Yeah. Like, what? Homework on the weekend? What is it, math? Yes. So we woke up this morning, Chris took Addie to school. I'm just organized, we went to Costco yesterday and so I'm taking all the cereal out of these things, putting them into these things, organizing it into this thing, which we're working on. These two are making TikToks and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. If you don't follow Lily on TikTok and you want to, she only is allowed to post what I approve. Okay, is this your first TikTok? <laughs> oh. Okay, so you don't do the away low, okay? So get out of the screen. Okay, let's do it. Wait, so what does he say? Don't cry, don't cry. I do. A princess doesn't cry. And then you go, away low. Da 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 da. And then I go to the side, and then you go in and say, because princess doesn't cry. Because princess doesn't cry. Princess doesn't cry. Is it all done? And the crowns and the Yeah. You guys are so cute. You're so cute. Lily is the only one that has TikTok right now. She's really good at asking before she posts and stuff because I, obviously that's like social media. She's not allowed to post on it unless they say she is. And she's only allowed to do it when she's like within hearing distance because some of the stuff on there can be kind of sketchy. I like have one so I can watch hers but I haven't done anything. Although it is right up my alley. Like it seems super fun. We should do one together, Lilia. Wait. How about all of us do? That would be funny. We're off again. All right, get in the car. I swear, I have been living at this dentist's office recently between me and each of the kids. Like, we literally have been at the dentist every single week for the last, like, three weeks. And then I just happen to have a cleaning today, and then Kaisen has a cleaning next week. So we're like, we literally, I don't know, it's just coincidence that they all happen to, like, be one after another, after another, after another. Caden asked that he come today because he's been sitting in the seat so much. He wants to be out of the seat. He wants to come and watch, you know, someone else get work done. So I thought that that was a really good idea. So he requested that he come today. And you get to watch me in the chair today, buddy. You don't have to do anything. You just get to watch. so intrigued. He said he wants to be a dentist when he grows up. You really want to be a dentist? That'd be a really cool job. I know. I get paid a lot of money. Yeah, I can buy some toys. <laughs> yeah, you can buy toys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, more than a hundred dollars. Everything you got. Oh, 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 mama suckers. Baba. Oh. Kaden loved that. He was literally up. I got a video on my phone when because I, I didn't. I wasn't holding my camera. I just had my phone on me, and he was all up in my business. He was like, "What are you doing now? How are you doing that? How are you doing this? How are you doing that?" 
and then he was telling them that apparently he wants to be a dentist when he grows up and I could see that like he has the right the personality to like where I don't know he's so interested in stuff like that I always thought he would do something in the medical field I'm so glad he came with me because he like really got to see what they were doing and he was asking questions and I love the place that we go to and they're like talking to him and explaining everything to him as if he's like you know a college student they're so great there I think that one trip to the dentist might have just changed his entire like life career goals. We have a toe emergency. Come here, baby. Oh, oh baby. Oh, look at your face. That's the scariest part of all of this, is your face. That means you're playing hard. It is bleeding. Let me see. I'm not gonna touch it. Let me just look at it. Do you just want the band-aid on it? Yeah, I want the band-aid. You wanna put it on? There you go, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Drink some water. Get you cleaned up. I invited my whole party over and all of their children as well. My kids. All, all of Hannah's, all of Hannah's and Jamie's kids. Both of their kids are here too. I'm kidding, they don't have kids. But the kids are outside playing and we are getting ready. We're just having like a little barbecue type ordeal thing. It's going to be leading into a Just Jess video. You want to Turn the fireplace on. It was like 85 degrees today. I have the Kira blanket, the baby bay Kira blanket. Use it, it's but so I just put the fire on. Can I see it? I don't want okay. a guy one. Yeah, it's up in my bed. Go ahead. We're gonna be filming a Just Jess video tonight. But first, we have to finish momming and adulting. We have to feed the kids, yada, yada, yada. And then the camera's gonna turn off. And you can head over to that channel and watch the rest of that there. But if you're not subscribed and you're interested in that stuff, that's where you wanna go to see this stuff. <laughs> What's up fam? Good morning. We're cleaning up the house. We had a fun time yesterday. The kids played like until really, really late. It was Friday night. And then the grown-ups played really, really late. I'm having, a, I'm having a rough day. Yeah, we were playing. What are you guys playing? Truth or dare? Actually, we played Never Have I Ever. But it was a grown-up version. I don't get it. I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. So we are cleaning up after yesterday's shenanigans. We've been having a slow morning around here. I cannot That's hang so like that. <laughs> Yeah, slow day, that's for sure. Lilia ended up leaving yesterday. Um, she went to Gabe's house. Yeah, she went to Gabe's house for the weekend. Say something if you decorated your house already. Oh yeah, did you guys decorate your house already? I wanted to decorate the house yesterday. That whole like barbecue hangout thing was like really last minute. It wasn't super planned, so we ended up doing that last minute instead, and then I wanted to do it today, but Lilia would be sad if we did it without her. So we'll probably wait until Monday, Monday. I think, to do the outside stuff, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you know. Today, this Monday? Yes. Chris is going crazy over here because... Whoever saw my Insta story like last week or whatever it was, I literally need to stop doing underwear laundry. Like, without, without even like getting into it, I'm not doing underwear laundry anymore. There needs to be two separate Bins. When we wash clothes, we'll go up here. Um, he'll separate the clothes if they're like any of them. Too. Sometimes we'll do like just a Lilia load or whatever, but most of the time it all gets thrown together. And then so he'll like separate out each of the piles. So like that's the twin socks. And then the kids, they all come up here and they fold and put away their clothes. But lately, Lilia's getting like older and he's starting to confuse mine and hers clothes she picks out her you know the everything that she wears and sometimes between the sizing and like the looks of things he has to try to guess whose it is so many times my stuff has ended up in Lilia's pile and Lilia's stuff ends up in my pile and he gets so frustrated because he's like I cannot tell whose is whose I'm not touching this laundry anymore this is so weird it's a little weird I think it's time I think I think that's a sign that we need to tell her how to do it or teach her how to do it because it's not hard it's just a matter of like doing it you know boys movie night in my room in 10 minutes movie night, movie night in my room in 10 minutes as soon as the blanket's done drying, okay? We decided to have a movie night in our room tonight. We invited all of the children to come in our beds and watch a movie. I haven't decided what we're gonna watch yet, but we had one stipulation, and that's that they had to take a bath before they could come anywhere near our bed. I mean, they have to take a bath anyway, but they weren't gonna take a bath after the movie. Like, they needed to take it before because they're stinky. We're trying to figure out what in the world to watch. We wanna do something that, like, either we haven't seen or we haven't seen in a while. Hey, Mom, look at John Rogue. Can you please put that back? I think we're gonna pick Beauty and the Beast, the new, the live action one. I have surprisingly never seen it. If it has some live action things going on. It's not like super cartoony, so the kids I think will like it, and it's Disney. So I think it's the best of all of the worlds. We'll be there in two weeks. I'm so excited. 
October 4th. I'll see you. October 4th? Yep, that's when we're going there. And that's how everything ended. They made it like what? Well, Addy fell asleep right away. Then it was Landon. Then it was Kyson. Then it was Caden. So they were troopers. They lasted quite a while. I loved the movie, but for their age, it was a little slow, I think, for them at first. And so then they like knocked out before all the good stuff happened. What's up, fam? This is becoming a whole weekend vlog, apparently. I raided Addie's closet this morning because she went through like a really recent growth spurt and she grew out of so many of her nice, 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 super nice clothes. So I'm bringing them to Once Upon a Child to see if they want any of them. And then if they don't, I'm just gonna donate the rest. I already have a bunch of bags of the other kids' clothes as well, but I don't know if they have Once Upon a Child everywhere, but it's basically a thrift store for kids and they have like really good prices and stuff. But the thing is, I've realized that they're extremely picky. Their stuff is usually pretty decent quality quality but they have to be specific brands specific I mean they're like very particular about their stuff so they don't usually end up taking very much stuff but I had some spare time today so I figured I would come see if they want any any of this stuff and then whatever they don't want I'm just gonna donate normally I don't have the patience to like do this and go through all the clothes and separate them like you can't bring them in a bag you have to bring them like folded and like they're very I mean it's good like it's good stuff but like for me I'd rather just like donate all of them but for the amount that they usually end up taking it's usually not worth it but it's been a hot minute since I've tried it so Let's try it again, I guess. Parked in a really awkward spot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this out. I'll see you guys after. So they said it's gonna be an hour and a half before they're ready. I'm right next to Walmart, which I almost never go in there, but I've been wanting to do some kind of Halloween activity with the kids. I used to do activities with the kids all the time, like all the time when they were littler, but ever since the majority of them went to regular school where they're in school all the time, I've really been slacking on doing like fun things like that with them. And I really, really, really miss it. So I'm gonna go on Pinterest and see if, and see if I can find any fun Halloween things to do with like older kids. The problem is a lot of the craft stuff is geared for little kids and there's nothing wrong with that like they'd probably still have fun but i'm wanting to find something that's like a little bit more complicated that they can handle now that would be more of a challenge for them to do especially since they don't usually do halloween stuff in school anymore this is what i'm talking about guys i just got back there's like expensive disney brand stuff here like brand new dance things that have never been worn like things that i have even bought from them before and they wouldn't buy them back what the hell they freaking scared me i was like that wind is strong look at all this stuff they didn't well look, these are the shoes I bought these for so one of the kids' the costumes. Basket, came back with a basket. No, I only bought two things. Look, right there. That's what I bought. I got 29 bucks for that stuff. So it's like, 29 bucks is 29 bucks, I guess. But look at this. Like, I'm surprised they didn't take this with Halloween coming up right now. It's like a freaking cute Halloween tutu. In fact, I might have bought it from them to begin with. It's just funny. It's funny. They sell like, stuff. Like Oshkosh stuff. They sell stuff and then they won't even buy the same stuff that they sold back. I know. But I guess it depends on their inventory, too. Like, sometimes they just don't need things, so... Anyway, I got a bunch of oh god, bunch of crafts for the kids. Super excited. I know it's your favorite thing in the world. I got some cotton balls. This is stuff for Disneyland, some costume stuff for the Halloween party. I'll show you guys. I'll bring it in and then we should probably do it now because we've got school tomorrow. We can either make a wreath or we can make a spider web. Or you can make a wreath into a spider web. I tried making it like a little bit more difficult. So I got these little needles. That way it makes them use their fine motor skills. And then this yarn. We got some of these. We have glue and paint. And Lily is not back from her dad house yet so she's gonna have to join us when she gets home she should be home pretty soon what color do you want your wreath to be uh, I want mine to be um, I want mine to be yes. I, I want mine to be black 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 okay do you have any blue I think I do orange blue black Okay, try to be careful. I know we have something protecting the table, but try to be careful that it doesn't get on the table so because that'll get messy. Please. Don't wipe anything on your shirt either. And you're gonna paint the white side. You can open it now. Linda, do you need help opening? No, I got it. Ooh, not like that. Bubble, bubble, like, bubble, let me show you guys. Bubble. Look. Good job. Buddy. Yep. I'm a You are. Okay, you'll get your fingers ready, but that's okay. So grab your Mom, do you want me to put it on the table? We're gonna put it outside, and then we're gonna do another activity while it dries, okay? This is actually... <gasps> they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. It's okay, just grab it. I lie to myself. Okay, so wash your hands. Mommy, I, I almost died. Okay, baby. I, I know, okay, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she gets so offended when I call her a baby. I lost him. <laughs> oh no.
I found these little plastic needles at Walmart. I've never tried them before, so hopefully they work and hopefully the kids are able to like get it. But in theory, they're going to take the white yarn. Ow! <laughs> Who let me be an adult today? What else is new? Mom, this one is Little stars. Yes, that's perfect. This is your string, so oh, I'll do it. Do you do a spider? Oh. Let me in the kitchen. Oh my god. I don't know whose smart idea it was to put the rubber bands right next to our knives. Oh, one of the knives was face up. Oh. Babe, Mom. come here. What? Come here. Stop. What? Whoa, what happened? Ooh. What the heck is that from? What is that from? Why do we have rubber bands next to knives? In here. Right there. Oh, I want to grab a rubber band to close. Oh. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I, don't, oh, I don't know where it's at or how deep it is, but it hurts. Oh, it was deep. It was deep. Oh, that light gives me. Oh, God, it's a on my shirt. That light gives me the willies. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know. I'm too afraid to look at it. No, I can't hold you. Mommy's bleeding. Mommy's got blood. Look, I'm bleeding like. Uh oh. I hope I didn't bleed. Like I didn't hella cut myself. Can you see? It went deep. Oh. So what? It went like in. No, it was right here. Oh. It, oh, it sliced. Mm -hmm. It hurts so bad. Oh. Oh. What? Oh god, I sliced through it. Oh, look at it. <sighs> You're freaking me out. Which? So what did you do? You? That one, the red one. Your Cutco knife. That stupid Cutco knife that you bought. This. That. Yep. Would you have to buy that stupid you scam? It's hurting worse. Am I burning my? Every time I try to cook, I try to be a good person and a good mom. You make a good patient. <laughs> you need to stick to spaghetti. Too, too soon? Now that the shock of it is gone, it like sliced through to my nail, I think. Dude, like I'm afraid that there's like a flap. Well, you don't need stitches, I don't think. Uh -huh. is, hang on. <laughs> I'm not being dramatic. This thing is sliced through my finger. No, that's that's bad. Oh my god. That's bad. That's, bad. that's a good one. And the thing is too, that knife is literally so sharp. It probably cut so cleanly through. I don't want it. No. What? I don't want that. You have to. No, you... I don't want it. No. Okay, but you have to. You don't have a choice. Come here. Put this on. It needs to be clean first. Huh? I'm then, still getting over the shock of it. Hang on. I'm not ready. Damaged. I was gonna get my nails done for Disneyland. Where it went through my cuticle. It went like this way. Yeah. And then through my cuticle. Okay, stop talking about it. Put this on. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Is this gonna burn? It's funny, you make kids do this all the time and then you go to do it on yourself and you're like the biggest baby. That's me right now. Such a big slice. Like, you're pinching it. Like, I'm if you're gonna pinch it, pinch it this sorry. way. I'm just trying to hold your finger. Look, it's bleeding out the top now. Don't cut yourself again. No promises. Literally every time. <laughs> every freaking time someone lets me in the kitchen, this happens. Or something like this happens. God. Oh. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh. It's a good thing I'm not a finger model. Nick, here we be out the door. Okay, you can do the rest. I started dinner, you finish it. Well, it's gonna suck editing. Actually, I mostly don't use that finger. I mostly use my thumb and my middle what finger. Day has turned into a day where I tried really hard but I am giving up. I'm not giving up, I'm just saying we'll continue tomorrow. I'm gonna read a book, because that's about the only thing I can do right now. 
Hopefully I can just edit, okay? Oh gosh, we're gonna have to finish their things tomorrow too. It took way longer to dry than I had thought. Okay, come sit right here. I'm trying. You need to, bro, you need to calm down. You have school tomorrow. Yeah, I'm well aware. So anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. So goodbye.